guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Bree, and here on my channel i do wig reviews product reviews and girl talk if this is something that you are interested in go ahead and hit that subscribe button. i look extra tired today it's because i am like i'm super tired but i wanted to make this video um before the end of the week because your girl is getting ready to leave so um i wanted to get this recorded and uploaded so that I could have room for my um, BBL surgery day Miami vlog type of video. title of this video you already know that this video is going to be about what you need to prepare for your BBL let's go ahead and get into it all right um so the first thing is I am bringing these pads to put on the bed um because you will be bleeding out for the first like three days two or three days um and you don't want to get their sheets dirty so if you're staying at a hotel or an airbnb you definitely need these this is only one pack but you can get these on amazon i got these from my grandma so <laughs> i didn't need to buy these you also need shower curtains so what you'll need to do and i'll do a video on this as well um when i get to miami but you will need the shower curtains so that it doesn't the uh, blood doesn't bleed through the sheet so you will put the the pads on and then the um, uh, shower curtain and then the sheet and then more um more uh pads so you don't want to get their mattress bloody i'm sorry their mattress all that matters is that their mattress is not bloody bunch of uh gauze pads um i got these at walmart you can also get these at the dollar store most of this stuff you can get at the dollar store but I didn't really think of the dollar store until yesterday actually when I went to the dollar store to grab one thing and I saw most of these items there so do some of those you will need some of these <clears throat> to clean your incisions and uh keep them um I guess the blood from I actually really don't I have no clue but it was on my list <laughs> um so I also got a bunch of pads because I will most likely be on my period and you can also use these to put on your incisions as well. I know a lot of ladies, they um, put the pads on their incisions. Also bringing these diapers. Um, they are period diapers, but you can also use them when you're not on your period. Um, these will go over your faja. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and show you. I got a large because um, I will have a fat. what the large looks like. Okay. And the inside, let's see the inside. So it's like a regular diaper and it has like a pad on the inside. So I got some of these. These were like $12. Put these right here because I'm actually going to repack when I get off this video because I am not doing a good job. Monica tea. This is good for um, recovery and it helps with inflammation and swelling. So Arnica tea as well as I got some, um, I got two Arnica gels. And this is good, again, for the muscle pain, stiffness, swelling. Um, so you just put some of this on your incisions or wherever you're aching, and it should work. I've heard great things about this product. Emergency, um, this wasn't on my list, but I got it anyways, just because um, emergency always makes me feel good. Um, or if I feel like I'm getting sick, I usually take this. But um, I've heard great things about this, using this after recovery or after surgery. So we'll be taking this just in case. It's better to have it than to not have it. Calamine spray. This is good for itching. Um, you are going to itch a lot after surgery where your incisions are. So definitely, definitely get you some um, calamine spray. I also got some Benadryl. So I also got these um, medical tapes. One is waterproof and then the other one is i think regular med medical tape these are only about one dollar each you can find this at your local dollar store as well hydrogen peroxide three percent i was looking for a smaller bottle but this is all they had um but you can also get this at the dollar store pay like three dollars and some change for this one and you can get them at the dollar store for one dollar so uh fluoratix tablets this is iron tablets um when you go into surgery you will lose a lot of blood so you want to um increase your blood flow some tylenol for pain even though they give you um a prescription for i think percocet 
Um, but for those who do not like taking like hard medicine like me, I'm hoping that I will be okay with just the Tylenol. And I also got the Tylenol PM to help me sleep. Definitely going to need hauls, you guys, because when you get out of surgery, your throat is going to be hurting from the tube that they put in your mouth. The tablets as well. It helps with the healing. It was about 20, I want to say $28. You guys, I will put the link to everything I purchased in the description box um, below. I also got liquid IV. Basically, you just um, put one of these bad boys in your water and you drink it and it's like a maximum hydration. Like if you don't have the energy to drink a whole bunch of water or whatever, get you some of this. This will bring you back to life. So I heard. I also got some compression socks. They do give you a pair of socks at Miami Life, but I wanted to bring extra because they only give you one. You will need it for the plane. Um, so I'm gonna put that over there. I bought three pairs. Um, do not get your compression socks at Walmart, you guys. They are like $20 per pair and you can get them for $20. You can get three for 20 on Amazon. So bam, um, antibacterial soap. I got Dial. Um, I have more, I bought like a big thing, but I'm only gonna take a few. Before your surgery, you will need to wash up with this. And after your surgery, you will need to wash up with this. So you need Dial antibacterial soap. And you also need unscented lotion. But before your surgery, you do not put on lotion. This is for after surgery. Flushable wipes for those who will be helping me and I don't want them to have to deal with my blood you know so gave them this Wipes as well no urinal because you know after BBL you do not want to sit on your butt and it might be very very sore so I got this black robe you definitely want a black one you want it to be a thick black one because in those surgery centers it is very very cold and when you wake up you are going to be freezing so I got one with a hood I'm sorry, here is the, nope, that's not the hood. Oh, that is the hood. So I bought one with the hood and it's very, very fluffy and comfy. Print out, I'm just gonna show you guys right here. I don't wanna show my name. Um, you also wanna print out your lab work. So you wanna print out your eight, your EKG, your uh, lab work, and your chest x-ray if you have asthma or if you're 40 and over. And I also printed out some wish pictures, so. Those are my wish pictures. I also bought a BBL pillow. Um, this BBL pillow is really, really comfortable. It comes with the back support. So this is the BBL pillow. Excuse the length. Very, very comfortable. Your leg, your thighs go right here and then your butt hangs out. And then this part goes around your chair and um, it connects to the BBL pillow. Recovery pills these are good for recovery i heard um these were about i want to say 20 bucks I'm not too sure also got some lymphatic drainage drops um you will so what you're supposed to do is just put like 15 drops in your water and then just drink it so this helps with draining edibles so i got the sour patch dummy strawberry and then the sour patch um I mean the skittles and i also got a uh, macadamia and chocolate chip cookie so my goal is i don't want to take the percocets i think i'm just going to stick with the tylenol and the edibles and then you know the benadryl whatever else i might need and the arnica tea to surgery um you're pretty much just going to want to wear your robe and then um that's it so i'm only going into surgery with my robe and nothing on because they're going to put a faja on you um when you're done with your surgery um, but after, like when I get to the room or whatever, I might throw this little black gown on that I got from Walmart for like 10 bucks. Someone mentioned going to the dollar store and getting you outfits after your BBL because you're going to bleed through and you're going to like most of the stuff that you bring is going to get all yucky. So I should have went to the dollar store. Like, I don't know why I didn't think of that. I mean, I should have went to the Goodwill. Did I say the dollar store or the Goodwill? You want to go to the Goodwill and get you some stuff. But I got this from Walmart. I also got this gown. I don't mind getting it bloody. It's the same thing, just a different color. You will also want to bring um, seamless shirts. Seamless shirts to go under your faja. I'm sorry if I am not like doing this correctly, y'all. Just bear with me. 
it's just me and my one hand all right so you also want to bring like some shirts um i'm hoping that this fits tight on me i got a small i normally wear like a medium or a large depending on where i buy it but i got a small because my stomach will be snatched i won't have any back that so um i got a small and it's supposed to be tight fitting but i'm also going to bring like regular spaghetti straps i have like some regular long comfy gowns um another shirt and then when i leave the um when i get ready to leave i might put this on might be cute and put this on this is a romper and it's a strapless so like i said you'll only be bleeding for like three days so i should be okay to wear this and i also got um like this bodysuit right here okay and if you haven't noticed, I have no nails. They do not want you to have on any nails, excuse the, the chipped paint, but I will be removing that after this video, but you cannot have any nails, no lashes like you. They want you to go up in there looking crusty, okay? Crusty. All right, you guys, really quick, I forgot to show you this one last thing, but I did get this CF pre-op drink. You get two for like $11. Um, I got the strawberry flavor, and you drink two of these before pre-op. So I'll be drinking this the night before my surgery. So Thursday night, I will, I'm sorry, Sunday night, I will be drinking this. And of course, I have my toothpaste and Listerine. Um, and then I'll bring a few packs, or I'll, I'll bring a few pairs of panties and like a few bras, but you will not be wearing any panties at all um and you i'm gonna bring a bunch of um like sports bras so this is this is everything i'm bringing you guys So that concludes this video, you guys. If you have any additional questions, please let me know in the comments. I see that you guys are really liking my BBL video. So um, I actually have more videos uploaded, but um, I'm gonna wait until I really don't have any videos to put out to put those out because you guys are feeling this BBL. Um, vlog so we're just gonna stick with this for now i'll see you guys in the next video bye